Om 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 सहनावतु सहनौ भुनक्तु सह वीर करवाह तेजस्वीनावधीतमस्तुमाषावह ओ शातिशाशा ओं श्रीगणेशा नम ओं श्री सरस्वत नम ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नम सदा शिव सरंभा शंकराचार्यमध्यम अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा श्रुतिस्मृतिपुराण आल करुणाल नमा भगवत्द शोकशंक समस्तजनकल्याण निरत करुणाम नमा चिन्मय देव सद्गु ब्रह्म विवर मूक कौति वाचा पंगु लंघयते गिरी यत्तम वंदे परमानंदमाधव परमानंदमाधव सर्वेदात गोचर तम गोचर गोविंद परमानंद सद्गु प्रणतस्म्यहम सो इन द लास्ट सेशन वी स्टार्टेड विद द टॉपिक ऑफ मनोमय कोश सो वैल एक्सप्लेनिंग how the self is distinct from the not self viveka discrimination between the self and the not self atma anatma viveka we are into the third topic they uh, first we saw annamaya kosha then we saw pranamaya kosha now we are into the topic of manomaya kosha the mental sheet what do you mean by the mental sheet what constitutes mental sheet two things gnana indriyani मनश्च द फाइव ऑर्गन्स ऑफ परसेप्शन एंड द माइंड सो इन द अंतकरण द माइंड ऑफ कोर्स चित्त इज इंक्लूडेड एंड फाइव ऑर्गन्स ऑफ परसेप्शन टुगेदर दे फॉर्म व्हाट इज कॉल्ड एज मनोमय कोश एंड शंकराचार्य जी इज एलैबरेटिंग दैट दिस मनोमय कोश दिस माइंड इज द मेन कॉज ऑफ ऑल अवर सफरिंग्स all our problems adnyana adnyana we say but where does that adnyana reside in the mind we are talking about identification of the self with the not self which creates samsara where does that identification reside in the mind who creates that identification the mind and therefore it is said that this mind is the main cause now before going there how is he explaining that mind is the main cause he says all kinds of distinctions differences that we see are created by mind vastu vikalpa hetuhu it creates all kinds of distinctions samnyadi bhedara bhed kalana kalitah it creates what kinds of differences all kinds of differences names forms etc 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 which is exactly against our real nature 
our real nature is that of the self which is non dual which is one whereas the entire world is seen as different 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 who creates this difference the mind and this mind which is part of mental uh, manomaya kosha this manomaya kosha pervades the pranamaya kosha and stays verse number 167 then we saw that this manomaya kosha is like fire mind is like the fire where all the senses act as priests and offer the objects the sense objects as ghee into the fire because of which the fire continues to remain ablaze and to that again there are internal in uh, uh, um, vasanas impressions which add as fuel which act as fuel and the fire remains ablaze keeps burning this mind alone is ignorance naihyasya vidya manaso tirikta verse number 169 i have told you to mark very important verse manasah atirikta avidya nahi asti there is indeed no ignorance other than mind manohi avidya bhavabandha hetu this mind alone is ignorance which is the cause for the bondage of this samsara tasmin vinashte sakalam vinashtam when that mind is destroyed everything is destroyed vijrambhite asmin sakalam vijrambhate when it manifests everything manifests so through the anvaya vetireka method now shankaracharya is establishing that mind alone is the cause of samsara why because when mind is there samsara is there when mind is not there samsara is not there anvaya vetireka what is the what, what are the examples to explain this so anvaya is explained through the experiences of waking and dream he says swapne artha shunne srijati swashaktya bhoktradi vishvam mana eva sarvam tathaiva jagrati api no visheshah tat sarvam etan manaso vijrambanam in the dream artha shunye which is useless which is purposeless or meaningless or artha shunye where there are no objects the outside objects are not available in my dream but in the dream what happens manah eva sarvam srijati mind alone creates everything bhoktra adi vishvam the entire world including the enjoyer the dreamer everything is created by the mind so shaktya by its own power it creates everything tatha eva jagrati api even in the waking there is no difference no vishesha so what 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 do we see in waking and dream that there is mind and there is world coexistence mind is there and the world created by mind is also there hmm tat tasmat ah tat sarvam etan manaso vidrambanam tat sarvam etat everything that we see the entire world of waking and dream etan manasa vidrambanam is the manifestation of this mind alone now vyatireka now he takes example of deep sleep susupti kale manasi praline now in the deep sleep when mind is praline is dissolved dissolved into into the causal body then what naivasti kinchit sakala prasiddhe all these things are not there sakala prasiddhe this is well known experience of all that in your deep sleep when the mind is not there there is no world last time also we saw that in waking and dream all our experiences will be very different why because your mind is creating experiences for you my mind is creating experiences for me your mind is different than my mind therefore experiences are different but in the deep sleep your experience and my experience and dog's experience and cat's experience and snake's experience every being's experience of deep sleep is exactly the same why because there is no mind there is no world i don't even know that i am a human being in my deep sleep forget about being a man or a woman young or old no i don't even know anything 
so when in dream and waking mind is there world is there now in deep sleep mind is not there world is not, not there ataha therefore manah kalpita eva pumsah samsara therefore this samsara for this human being is created by mind alone manah kalpita eva etasya ha etasya pumsah na vastu tah asti the world the samsara is not real it is just a projection of mind just a projection of mind like what vayuna aniyate megha tatha punaste naiva niyate manasa kalpate bandha mokshaste naiva kalpate gives one example that the wind brings the clouds and the wind alone removes the clouds in the same way mind brings the bondage and mind alone removes that bondage and makes one liberated two things are proven here number 1 the cause of bandha and moksha bondage and liberation is mind alone mana eva manushyanam karanam bandha mokshayo ho we saw this also last time from amrita bindu upanishad mind alone is cause manushyanam for beings for human beings bandha mokshayo karana is the cause for bondage and liberation right this is one point that is proven second point since mind is the cause that bandha and moksha that samsara is not real if something physical is the cause then the effect will also be physical for example there is clay if clay is the cause then the pot created by that clay is real real means as real as the clay but suppose there is no clay suppose my mind has created a pot hmm careful suppose there is no actual clay which has created a pot but my mind has created a pot then that pot is not real always we see example there is rope now my mind creates snake on top of that rope now that snake appears to be there and therefore there is fear etc from it but is not real why because it is created by mind two things mind is the cause for bandha and moksha bondage and liberation and mind because mind is the cause neither bandha nor moksha is real the samsara is not real why because it is caused by mind is simple now how does how does the mind become cause for both bandha and moksha when does it become cause for bandha when does it become cause for moksha that is what is the topic now taken up right same mind causes both isn't it it is like saying that there is something which causes fire also and water also now how when will it create fire and when will it create water that is very important thing if the same mind is creating bandha bondage and same mind is creating moksha liberation then when does it create bandha and when does it create moksha that is what is explained in the next verse let us read verse number 173 173 देहादिषये पिकल्य राग बध्नाति तेन पुषं पशुवुणेन वैरस्य मत्र विषवत्सुविधा पश्चात् एनम विमोचयति तन मन एव बंधात् एनम विमोचयति तन मन एव बंधात् 
देहादिर्वे परकल्य रागम बध्नाति तेन पुषम पशुवद्गुणेन वैरस्य मत्र विषवत्सुविधाय पश्चात एनम विमोचयति तन्मन एव बंधा hmm this mind alone is creating both bondage and liberation so the first line explains how mind creates bondage second line explains how mind creates liberation very very systematic what is he saying deha aadi sarva vishaye in all objects such as body ragam parikalpya creating or imagining attachment identification love like tena purusham badnati kah manah mind binds a person by that by what by that attachment tena ragena by that attachment he binds so you see mind creates bondage how how does it create bondage by creating attachment to the not self like what pashuvat gunena <laughs> like an animal an animal is bound by what guna guna means thread or rope in sanskrit word guna is used in this meaning also because actually literally Sanskrit word guna means rope or thread. So guna na badnati, pashuvat like an animal is bound by the rope. In the same way, a human being is bound to the samsara by the mind with the rope of attachment. So what has happened? mind creates attachment towards the not self towards the objects and by this attachment a person is bound okay carefully note it is not an actual bondage Gurudev used to give one very interesting example. I think we have seen earlier. He has also explained in this Vivek Chudamani only, where in the Himalayas, Ganga ji, etc. When the cool winter season starts, uh, sorry, sorry, the summer season starts, this bear, no, Himalayan bear, they want to come down. and for that what they do is they just hang their body in the ganga water and the water brings them down they don't want to walk all the way down so they just lie down in the ganges and the water brings them down <laughs> now gurudev used to you know make this story very very exciting that you know there is a brahmachari there on the banks of ganga river you know and he is doing tapasya etc and suddenly sees this and then thinks that oh so nice there is a log of wood coming hmm? so let me also take help of that so that i don't have to also do anything so goes there and catch catches hold of this log of wood which he thinks is a log of wood which is actually a bear now what happens the moment he touches it he knows that it is not a log of wood see for the bear only the back is outside no everything else is inside so it looks like a log of wood now what happens now this person wants to release himself from this bear but bear says not only free travel but free food <laughs> already i was going without anything now food also has come i don't even have to go out to okay. naturally everything is available now he catches now even if the person wants to release himself is not able to release himself this is one kind of example that we see where our likes and dislikes create bondage for us 
now you think of another example another anecdote or story that we have seen also earlier that there is a monkey and monkey enters you know open courtyard of a house and sees that there is some grains kept in a long necked jar you know those big big jars will be there they will have very small neck but they will be very deep jars now he puts his hand inside to take the grains but because his hand has made a fist now the hand is not coming out why because the neck is so small only hand can go like this the moment you make a fist it doesn't come out then what he tries harder harder by the time the master comes there and the owner of the house comes there sees that the monkey is there and starts beating and the monkey is still trying to pull it out it is not coming out why you yourself have hold on to things give it up and your hand will come out and you are free think of both examples we ourselves are holding on to unreal and then we are saying we are in bondage are it the bondage is created by you only it is not that somebody else has come and bound you many people think you know god has created bondage for us why god why did you send me to samsara god has not sent you to samsara it is you who have created samsara for yourself so this mind when we say that the mind creates samsara for us it is we ourselves this mind alone in us has created this bondage for us we are only thinking that we are in bondage and as long as we will hold on to these unreal things we will continue to think that we are in bondage how can we come out of it the only thing that the monkey has to do is release those grains and the hand will come out oh but veggie those grains are so good and then hold on you are neither going to eat those properly nor are you going to you enjoy anything you are just going to suffer small child sometimes holds its own hair and pulls have you seen and then cries because it is painful now because it cries the hold of the hair becomes stronger and pulls even stronger and then cries even stronger and as a person you can't do anything you try to release that hand it doesn't leave and exactly like that child is our situation we ourselves have created this attachment to the world to the unreal upadis to the world of objects and then we are saying we are in bondage and therefore we are suffering are who created this bondage you created and therefore at any point of time you can end it because you created you know see if the bondage is real then it cannot be destroyed <laughs> the very fact that it is unreal and therefore only it can be destroyed and not only it is unreal it is created by you and therefore at any point of time you can decide to stop it suppose there is actual problem actual problem means what there is actual ghost in your house then your fear is justified isn't it and then the solution is not in your hand veggie what will happen to me you ask ghost because now ghost is the in charge if actually ghost is there then the ghost will decide what will happen to you but suppose there is no ghost and your mind has created ghost and then you are thinking now what will happen to me it is you you have to decide if you are actually in front of a lion not in a zoo but actually in a jungle where that lion is not caught or bound or anything then what will happen to you depends on the lion you don't have any choice there <laughs> very funny jokes etc you know are there related to this 
you you go to a jungle and then you, you suddenly see that that lion is there in front of you and you start seeing you know uh, uh, bhimarupi maharudra or you know some some stotras etc of hanuman ji etc you start doing and that lion also you know starts chanting stotras vadani kavala geta or sahana ho tu sahano bunak tu before food no brahma arpanam brahma havi why because that the lion has decided that he is going to eat you but suppose in your dream there is a lion now whether that lion will eat you or not depends on you why you are the one who have created the dream you are the one who has created the lion you are the one who are who is directing the lion the lion will do exactly how you want it to be bondage is created by our own mind and therefore it is not real and number 2 it is our mind created and therefore we can end it how to end it next line vairasya matra vishavat suvidhaya paschat paschat later now that the mind is created bondage later on what happens atra vairasyam suvidhaya suvidhaya having created vairasyam vairasyam distaste atra in the same objects the objects wherein there was a attachment was created now the same mind creates detachment vishavat like poison what kind of detachment i don't even want to look at it <laughs> gurudev will always say how that poison you don't keep next to the salt bottle in your kitchen you keep it far so sometimes that poison is required you know to kill so many insects etc so suppose potassium cyanide is there with you you don't keep it next to you know sugar bottle salt bottle and then potassium cyanide no why by mistake suppose somebody puts you dead you keep it far like that now a distaste is created towards the objects that you keep the objects far by doing this the mind alone tan manah eva bandhat vimochayati that mind alone releases him from the bondage two words rag virag rag attachment virag detachment virag itself is called as vairagya viragasya bhavah vairagya same words so rag attachment so mind creates attachment which results in bondage the same mind creates detachment which results in liberation actually interestingly that same mantra from amrita bindu upanishad which says mana eva manushyanam karanam bandha mokshayo ho says in the second line bandhay vishaya saktam mukti nirvishayam smritam true that the mind alone is the cause for bondage and liberation but which mind is cause of bondage and which mind is cause of liberation vishaya saktam manah the mind which has got attachment towards object bandha that bandhaya that causes bondage nirvishayam and the mind which is free of objects detached from the objects mukti smritam becomes the cause for liberation so attached mind is cause of bondage detached mind is cause of liberation attached detached what attached to the objects to the anatma to the not self to the objects detached from from the same now the same concept he explains in the in the form of gunas sattva rajas tamas gunas let us read same concept is there nothing different verse number 174 tasman manah karanam asya janto ho tasman manah karanam asya janto ho bandhasya mokshasya cha vidhane bandhasya mokshasya cha vidhane 
बंधस्य हेतुर्मलिन रजो गुण मोक्ष शुद्ध विरजस्तमस्क तस्मान्मन कारणमस्य जंतो बंधस्य मोक्षस्य च वाधाने बंधस्य हेतुर्मलिन रजो गुण मोक्ष शुद्ध विरजस्तमस्क वॉट इज दिंग तस्मात् देरफोर अस्य जंतो हो बंधस्य मोक्षस्य च वाधाने मन कारण अस्य जंतो हो फॉर दिस पर्सन बंधस्य मोक्षस्य च वाधाने इन ब्रिंगिंग अबाउट बॉन्डेज और लिबरेशन मन कारण माइंड अलोन इज द कॉज सो फॉर एन इंडिविजुअल जीव माइंड अलोन ब्रिंग्स बॉन्डेज माइंड अलोन ब्रिंग्स लिबरेशन वॉट वट कैंड ऑफ माइंड बंधस्य हेतु रजो गुण ही मलिन मन विच माइंड इज द कॉज ऑफ बॉन्डेज रजो गुण ही मलिन द माइंड दट इज डर्टीड बाय रजस एंड ऑफ कोर्स तमस सो रजो गुण तमो गुण प्रधान माइंड प्रधान प्रिडॉमिनेंट माइंड प्रिडॉमिनेंट विथ रजस एंड तमस आर द इज द कॉज ऑफ बॉन्डेज मोक्ष शुद्ध एंड शुद्ध मन प्युर् मैंड सात्विक मैंड विशुद्ध सत्व दैट मैंड इज कॉज फॉर मोक्ष लिबरेशन विरज तमस्क विदउट रजस एंड विदउट तमस द मैंड devoid of rajas and tamas which is full of sattva becomes the cause of liberation when that mind is vishuddha sattva pradana predominant with absolute sattva then it is moksha here what is said that shuddha mana satvik mana satvik mind becomes the cause for liberation so rajasik and tamasik mind leads to bondage satvik mind leads to liberation uh, fine veg ji basically what you are trying to say is mind is creating bondage mind is creating liberation is that what you want to say i say correct good then what then take popcorn and sit and watch what mind creating bondage mind will remove it are my dear you have to make the mind satvik so that mind will become cause for liberation no uh, why because given to its own mind will never become satvik why because the gravitational force works huh? gravitational correct gravitational force says that the things fall naturally to lift them extra power is required leave water to its own it will always go down it will never never water will say chalo it's been long that i have you know gone up let me try today going up not possible not possible the water will always flow from higher altitude to lower altitude if you leave mind to do whatever it wants it will always fall more and more and more so don't sit back and relax saying that mind has created bondage mind will create liberation it will not do on its own only one thing that it will do on its own is take you down and down more and more down it will take you 
but but we you see you, we 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 do see the waterfall etc but i have also heard that there are waterfalls which where the water goes up reverse waterfalls recently you know on instagram facebook etc i have been seeing are there is a force of wind because of which it takes the water up just as the aeroplane because of the wind it goes up there is a motor involved or not don't just think that on its own water will decide that today let us not fall down let us go up no it will not happen mind will not suddenly decide that let us have vairagya today hey, that is not happening by accident why because only bad things will happen by accident for good things to happen somebody has to do it therefore one has to put efforts to make the mind satvik to create detachment that is what he says in the next verse verse number 175 let us read viveka vairagya guna tirekat viveka vairagya guna tirekat shuddhatva ma sadhya mano vimuktyai भवत्यतो बुद्धिमतो मुमुक्षो भवत्यतो बुद्धिमतो मुमुक्षो ताभ्याम दृढाभ्याम भवितव्यमग्रे ताभ्याम दृढाभ्याम भवितव्यमग्रे विवेक वैराग्य गुणातिरेकात शुद्धत्वमासाद्य मनो विमुक्त्यै भवत्यतो बुद्धिमतो मुमुक्षो ताभ्याम दृढाभ्याम भवितव्यमग्रे हा विवेक वैराग्य गुण अतिरेका मन शुद्धत्वसाद्य विमुक्त वाट इज सैड विवेक वैराग्य गुण अतिरेका ड्यू टू prominence due to predominance of qualities guna qualities of viveka and vairagya discrimination and dispassion detachment due to this due to what due to viveka and vairagya become, becoming predominant manah shuddhatvam asadya mind gaining purity विमुक्त्यै भवति बिकम्स द कॉज फॉर लिबरेशन विमुक्ति विशेषेण मुक्ति फॉर टोटल लिबरेशन भवति बिकम्स द कॉज हाउ विवेक वैराग्य विल मेक माइंड प्युअर दैट प्युअर माइंड विल बिकम कॉज फॉर लिबरेशन नथिंग न्यू शंकराचार्य इज एक्सप्लेनिंग this is a point which we studied right at the beginning of the teaching where sadhana chatushtaya was explained viveka vairagya is the beginning of sadhana chatushtaya remember something like like that viveka vairagya samadhi shat sampatti mumukshutva something very good viveka nitya nitya vastu viveka ha huh? then viraga then samadama uparama titiksha shraddha samadana mumukshutva all these qualities when one gains mind becomes shuddha chittasya shuddha ye karma na tu vastu upalabdha hmm? then that pure mind in that pure mind knowledge takes place and then one gets liberation that same concept he is explaining here what is he saying since the mind has created bondage let that mind become cause for liberation how will mind become cause for liberation when that mind is shuddha previous verse satvik then only it will become cause for liberation how to make that mind shuddha pure or satvik by inculcating qualities like viveka vairagya etc vedanta you know actually is very simple you have to understand all the steps and do the next step that is the only thing people study you know very dif- difficult difficult texts etc and they get lost why because they don't know what to do 
you but you 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 see the clarity in all texts is like that only you see bhagavad gita also bhagwan explains the entire path there is the final goal what is that that is sankhya buddhi for that sankhya buddhi you know arjuna you have to start with karma yoga then with that karma yoga you go forward get that knowledge that atma is akarta and give up the action in that knowledge then you actually give up the knowledge karma sanyasa then you actually meditate dhyana yoga but arjuna therefore what you have to do do karma yoga why because that is the next step i have explained you all the steps but don't jump do what is next to you do karma yoga so when we are studying this when shravana is happening when manana is happening when we are listening when we are reflecting it is good why because it will give you clarity it will also give you purity of mind but at the same time one has to work on what is in front of one and what is that we have to increase our sadhana chatushtaya it is as simple as that whatever may happen we may understand complicated concepts or don't understand complicated concepts of vedanta fact of the matter is what we have to do finally is increase our sadhana and inculcate this sadhana chatushtaya increase it that's it why because the moment it reaches its ultimate state mukti will happen in a jiffy at that very moment why because knowledge is already there right now our knowledge is not translating into action because sadhana is less for that knowledge to become experience sadhana is what we have to increase so we go back to basics and increase our viveka vairagya and by viveka vairagya all other things also samadhi samadhi sada samadhi shat sampatti mumukshutva everything and we have seen earlier in elaboration all these interesting qualities and the most interesting thing about them is you start increasing any one quality all other qualities join in i work on increasing viveka alone vairagya will automatically come samadhi shat sampatti will automatically come mumukshu will automatically be there if i work only on titiksha all other samadhi shat sampatti will join and therefore viveka vairagya will come mumukshu to everybody will come you take any one or take a few or take all of them and keep working on them keep working on yourself for increasing these qualities why because only when there is a predominance of such good qualities it will result in chitta shuddhi purification of mind and that purified mind will become cause for liberation through knowledge of course therefore atah buddhimatah mumukshu ho for an intelligent seeker of liberation you you see how shankaracharya ji says not just mumukshu buddhimatah mumukshu for intelligent why intelligent because he understands what he has to do is not just mumukshu not just desirous of liberation but he has got right understanding of what is to be done to get that liberation for liberation i need knowledge to get that knowledge i need purity of mind to get purity of mind i need to in- increase or inculcate these qualities tabhyam dridabhyam bhavitavyam agre agre in the beginning at first tabhyam dridabhyam bhavitam do that intelligent seeker has to put efforts by which these two will become dridha will become strong which two viveka and vairagya tabhyam dridabhyam bhavitavyam for an intelligent seeker at first these two should become strengthened should become strong we have to put efforts okay it will not happen on its own right that is the way to do it वेज जी गॉट इट वॉट विवेक एंड वैराग्य सो वॉट सो आई विल टेल माय वाइफ टू क्रिएट एप्सोल्युटली टेस्टी फूड एंड देन वॉट देन आई विल नॉट ईट इट सी 
ವೈರಾಗ್ಯ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ಮೀ ಬಟ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಇಟ್ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಡೂ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಟು ಬಿಗಿನ್ ವಿತ್ ಯು ರಿಮೇನ್ ಅವೇ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ಸಚ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಯು ಮೇ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ವೈ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಪುಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಸಿಚುವೇಶನ್ ವೇರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ದೆನ್ ವೈ initially be in situations where you don't have to control much when you prepare your mind and then when the situation comes where you need to control you will be able to control i i i, I don't believe in all these things veji directly what i am going to meditate okay good get up early in the morning no 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 no, no not there i am going to meditate on the bus stop city bus stop is there where there are all kinds of buses and all kinds of people there i am going to go and in the middle i am going to sit and meditate oh. first of all those security guards will throw you out number 1 that is not allowed okay second of all why you want to create a situation where it is difficult for the mind to control See, this is something that we have to always understand bhagavan shankaracharya also in the same text had said in the beginning that desha kala etc is important only in the beginning but it is important in the beginning why because that is the time when you choose a place you choose a time where mind is not going out much easy to control create a kind of grip on your mind first once that grip is created then mind is under your control then when the situation comes also it will not go out but if you don't create that grip then what will have a mind will slip off so create a situation first where mind is not having options of many objects and therefore mind is not going out and therefore it is easy to control that is what he says in the next verse remain away from such things initially and then when these things will come you will be in a better position to handle it why because you have kept your mind away from these things in the beginning let us read verse number 176 mano nama maha vyagraha ವಿಷಯಾರಣ್ಯ ಭೂಮಿಷು ಚರತ್ಯತ್ರ ಗಚ್ಚು ಸಾಧವೋ ಯೇ ಮುಕ್ಷವ ಮನೋ ನಾಮ ಮಹಾವ್ಯಾಘ್ರ ವಿಷಯಾರಣ್ಯ ಭೂಮಿಷು ಚರತ್ಯತ್ರ ಗಚ್ಚು ಸಾಧವೋ ಯೇ ಮುಕ್ಷವ ಮನೋ ನಾಮ ಮಹಾವ್ಯಾಘ್ರ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಹ್ಯೂಜ್ ಟೈಗರ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಮನೋ ನಾಮ ವಿಷಯ ಅರಣ್ಯ ಭೂಮಿಷು ಚರತಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ರೋಮ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ of vishaya sense objects so there is a huge tiger called mind in the forest of sense objects do you want to go and enjoy sense objects yes swami ji forest is so beautiful yes but there is a tiger big one called mind atra na gachantu sadavah ye mumukshavah those of you who are sadhus who are virtuous people mumukshavah who are desirous of liberation atra na gachantu please don't go there why because there is a big tiger called mind who is roaming in this forest of sense objects what do you mean tiger is powerful in the forest isn't it <laughs> not in the circus 
in the circus yeah, that, that that lean thin man also controls the tiger but you take that tiger to the forest <laughs> that lean thin man even with gun in hand will be scared to be there why because tiger is powerful there similarly mind is strengthened by objects so the moment you want to enjoy sense objects you are going into territory of the mind where mind will create attachment for you and will become cause for bondage you see already that was explained and therefore nagan kachantu don't go there means what keep the objects away don't be near the objects and try to control the mind initially don't do that initially keep away from them away from them and then try to control the mind then once that mind is controlled once you get that grip then slowly slowly even when the objects are there it will not matter but don't purposely create a distraction and sit there and say that i am going to control mind you try to do it without distraction first and then when the distraction naturally will come you will be able to see whether you are able to control or not initially don't create more problems more difficulty for controlling the mind are you getting hmm? social distancing that is what we need to do not with people only with objects with every single thing that is creating attachment for you you may be attached to your phone or tv or your bike or car or food whatever you are attached to remain away from them as much as possible see for children also that's what we say yes or no when they want to study mobile is a big distraction what do you do you tell them that keep the mobile on your book as a book as a as a book, book holder and then read no keep the mobile in another room and go to another room and study keep it away why because when it is in front you will be tempted more why you want to unnecessarily create temptation and then try to control as much as possible remain away from them now i know that there are some people who like adventure and therefore they say you know veggie tapas etc should be done means what create a situation which is tough for you and then try to there will be situation which is tough for you which will naturally come don't worry to begin with save yourself as much as possible remain away from them why do you think these sadhus mahatmas etc went to himalayas huh eh? why do you think they stay in the ashrams etc why because you have to create a kind of closed environment it is required it is necessary why then only you can work on your mind you throw the mind into the objects the mind will not listen to you at all and remember this mind is very ferocious that's why he is com- compared with mahavyagra he is not a cat that you can pet no it is mahavyagra it will look like a cat and you will think that it is your best friend another moment it will eat you we know the stories of panchatantra etc feed the tiger and make it strong and then the tiger is the same person who was feeding that is what mind is you feed the mind with all the objects etc enjoyment oh my mind oh my mind oh my mind that mind will eat you therefore what remain away nagachantu tatra don't let it happen what don't let the mind easily go to sense objects create a kind of shell around you okay unless you do this it is not going to help why because initially you will need that kind of 
help from the environment then only mind will slowly come under control then when the objects are there also objects come also it will not be very difficult but initially create that remain away from it so distancing not not just inner distancing but outer distancing also both outer and inner distancing from the objects that is what mind should be far from objects and free from objects far is also very important free is of course important uh, you are away from the objects physically but with your mind you are only thinking about the objects then there is no point uh, then such a person is called as a hypocrite in bhagavad gita isn't it therefore far from objects and free from objects keep the mind like that okay why because it is the mind which is creating all kinds of problems shankaracharya ji goes back to that point and explains in next two three verses how mind is the one creating all kinds of problems for us let us read verse number 177 manaf प्रसूते विषया न शेषान स्थूलात्मना सूक्ष्मतया च भोक्तु शरीरवर्णाश्रम जाति भेदान गुण क्रिया हेतु फला निनित्यम मन प्रसूते विषया न शेषा स्थूलात्मना सूक्ष्मतया च भोक्तु शरीरवर्णाश्रम जाति भेदान गुण क्रिया हेतु फला निनित्यम भोक्तु last word of the first line for the enjoyer for the individual for the experiencer jeeva manah nityam prasute nityam is the last word of the verse that you have to bring it here manah mind nityam prasute always prasute gives birth so for the jeeva mind always creates these things what are the things that it creates number 1 asheshan vishayan all the objects vishayan all the object, objects asheshan without leaving anything so it is the mind which creates for this experiencer jeeva all the objects asheshan vishayan what kind of objects sthulatmana sukshmataya cha the subtle objects and also the gross objects sthula gross sukshma subtle so gross or subtle objects the mind creates number 1 so number 1 it creates the objects number 2 शरीर वर्ण आश्रम जाति भेदान नाउ इट क्रिएट्स डिस्टिंक्शंस डिस्टिंक्शंस ऑफ व्हाट ऑफ बॉडी ऑफ कास्ट ऑफ स्टेज ऑफ लाइफ क्रीड नेशनलिटी जेंडर एटसेट्रा 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 माइंड क्रिएट्स द ऑब्जेक्ट्स then mind creates distinctions in those objects then what guna kriya hetu phalani then it creates guna guna means qualities satvara jastamas hetu uh, kriya actions hetu the uh, uh, motive behind the action and phala results of those actions this is what mind creates carefully see first mind creates the objects then mind creates distinctions in those objects 
what kind of distinctions there are many distinctions possible but basically two distinctions likes and dislikes simple both objects that i like and objects that i don't like are created by mind alone but even after creating both it creates likes and dislikes now when there are likes and dislikes there are desires why sattva rajas tamas gunas are there so desires are there desires for what desires to be with the objects that you like and be away from the objects that you don't like then these desires will result in kriya action and that action will be performed with a particular motive hetu and when that action is performed it will give rise to a result phala and to experience that phala you have to take birth samsara see what mind has done mind has created objects then mind has created distinctions in those objects likes and dislikes in those objects then mind further goes on to create desires then mind instigates actions motive behind the action also and then that actions will give result and for that mind takes another birth mind takes up next embodiment to go through the phala of this action right understanding see everything is done by the mind therefore what be careful be careful it is the mind which is see 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 when the when the enemy is outside it is still easy to fight when the enemy is inside it becomes difficult to fight why because the outside enemy doesn't know everything about you but the inside enemy knows everything about you knows your strengths knows your weaknesses and it does exploit the weaknesses not will exploit it does exploit therefore mind is the one which is creating all these troubles be careful of this mind okay one more verse we'll complete then the flow is over how does this mind is creating all these things uh, verse number 178 asanga chidrupa mamum vimohya asanga chidrupa mamum vimohya dehendriya prana gunair nibadhya अहम ममेति भ्रमयत्यजस्रम अहम ममेति भ्रमयत्यजस्रम मनस्वकृत्येषु फलोपभुक्तिषु मनस्वकृत्येषु फलोपभुक्तिषु असंगचिद्रूपममुं विमोह्य देहेन्द्रिय प्राणगुणैर् निबद्ध अहम ममेति भ्रमयत्यजस्रम मनस्वकृत्येषु फलोपभुक्तिषु इट इज दिस माइंड अलोन व्हिच इज क्रिएटिंग ऑल प्रॉब्लम्स हाउ असंगचिद्रूपममुं विमोह्य मनः इट इज द माइंड व्हिच व्हाट डज इट डू यू नो विमोह्य डेल्यूडिंग डेल्यूडिंग हुम अमुं डेल्यूडिंग दिस दिस सेल्फ which is asanga chidrupam which is unattached which is of the nature of consciousness which is bliss this self is deluded by this mind so it deludes the self creates a feeling that i am not the self but i am the individual and then what deha indriya prana gunaihi nibadhya then it binds this individual with the guna with the guna with the rope of deha indriya prana with the attachment the rope of attachment to what to the body to the senses to the pranas so number 1 it has created a misapprehension the self loses 
its nature loses its nature means we lose the knowledge of our real nature and consider ourselves to be jiva then attached to the body senses mind etc aham mama iti what kind of attachment aham i mama mine earlier also we have seen how that is how the uh, asakti that is how the attachment with the not self has happened that this not self appears to be me and the not self also appears to be mine the body is me and the body is mine the senses are me the senses are mine pranas are me pranas are mine so it deludes an individual then it creates attachment identification of i and my with this with the not self with the upadis with the anatma and then what manah ajasram bhramayati makes that person bhramayati bhramayati means go round and round meri go round used to be there no go round and round that is called bhramayati what is that ajasram endlessly how स्वकृत्यु फल उपभुक्तिषु स्वकृत्यु इन इट्स ओन एक्शन एंड फल उपभुक्तिषु इन द एंजॉयमेंट ऑफ रिजल्ट ऑफ दोज एक्शन वंस यू आर टाइट डाउन टू द एट टू द अनात्मा देन यू परफॉर्म एक्शन देन दोज एक्शन विल हैव रिजल्ट देन यू एंजॉय दोज रिजल्ट फॉर एंजॉइंग दोज रिजल्ट यू क्रिएट अगेन एक्शन यू अगेन एंजॉय देअर रिजल्ट देन वाइल एंजॉइंग दोज रिजल्ट यू अगेन परफॉर्म एक्शन एंड यू आर टाइट डाउन कंप्लीटली मन भ्रमयति हू डज दिस it is the mind which does it so mind deludes the jiva binds the jiva to the upadis and makes that jiva karta and bhokta doer and enjoyer so actually the self which is asang unattached akarta non doer abhokta not any kind of enjoyer now that has come to become karta bhokta doer and enjoyer how mind why because that attachment exists in mind bondage exists in mind ignorance exists in mind getting it not only that the misunderstanding super imposition also exists in mind that is explained in the next verse we will take up in the next session adhyasa is the cause of all problems isn't it where is that adhyasa in the mind who has created that adhyasa mind vejji i think i should divorce huh divorce the mind are why you want to divorce oh, so many problems it is creating are but the same mind can also give you liberation so instead of divorcing train the mind don't run away from it because you cannot run away from it it is inside you where you will go leaving your body leaving your mind where will you go you cannot better make friendship with it why because it is the best friend right now it is the worst enemy but it can also become best friend isn't it atmai vahi atmanah bandhu atmai vari puratmanah so right now it is enemy why because it is attached to the world of objects now you make it objectless you make it detached it will become your friend why because with the same mind then you can go to the heights of liberation with the same mind so don't run away from it don't throw it out make it your friend okay that is what shankaracharya ji says now we will see that in the next session he concludes this topic of manomaya kosha also we'll see next session hmm. om purnamad purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva vashishyate ओम शांति 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 हरि ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओम
हरिओम